I know what you want, but do I got what you need? So we're going to figure that one out today. So I know a lot of people have been picking up the TurboGrafx-16 Mini, the PC Engine Mini, Core Graphics Mini from Japan. A lot of people have been enjoying them. I've been enjoying them, streaming the crap out of these, doing videos on secret games and all that stuff. I'll have links in the description if you want to take a look at my previous videos. But the one thing I'm always after with these mini consoles is a wireless controller solution. And I know it's a little early for these consoles since they've only been released in Japan, but we already have one. And I know I've heard of others like 8-Bit though, 8-Bit do. They're supposed to be putting out a controller. I can't wait to check that out. But in the meantime, we have an interesting solution. I find this one a little, a little weird. So Brooke, Game Controller Super Converters. I've played with a lot of their super converters, uh, a lot of their adapters and whatnot. I do enjoy most of their products. Um, we've done a lot of videos on their stuff as well. This is the PS3, PS4, so PS3 or PS4 controller to Mega Drive or PC Engine controller adapter. What you're going to notice here is these are controller adapters for the original console. So why would you think this would work on a mini console that uses USB? That was my first thought. Like, is there a misunderstanding here? Because Brooke, they did reach out to me and say, hey, we have a solution. Uh, you know, this works in the PC Engine Mini. Do you want to check it out? I'm like, okay. And then when I got it, I was like, oh, did they mean like just the regular PC Engine? But no, this freaking thing works on this. Crazy, right? So here she is. Let's go ahead and unbox it. It shows everything like, hey, this works on the original consoles. But it works on the Mini, too. Interestingly enough, this works on any of them. Turbo Graphics, PC Engine, or Core Graphics Mini. So you get this little adapter here. Uh, I just want to share this solution because... Maybe for some, this could be a multi-purpose thing. Uh, maybe for some, they won't be interested. They'll want to wait for a different option. But hey, it's all about options and just showing what works and what doesn't work. So as you see, you have the Genesis adapter, the PC Engine adapter, if that bitch will focus. Probably not. But there you go. Uh, we're not worried about those. So the other thing that came in the box, they always, they always send you a, all their products come with stickers. Um, kind of cool, I guess, if you're into stickers. I'm not that into stickers, but it's still neat. They give you a little sticker. You get this uh, little Y adapter right here. This is, uh, this is the one thing that's going to be needed in order to sync a PS3 or a PS4. Like, we're using a DualShock 4 controller. So I'm going to power my system off because, a word of warning, um, I've heard this happen to a few people. I don't know that this is necessarily a widespread problem. But plugging in controllers or unplugging controllers it, with the power on could damage the unit. So just don't do it. Uh, make sure you have whatever you're plugging in plugged in prior to turning the system on. So here it is. Mega Drive Genesis PC Engine converter thingy. Micro USB up on the front. There's the back. We ain't worried about all that. Let's go ahead. We're going to plug in this Y adapter. A little micro USB to the front there. Now you have two, count them, two USBs. You got a gray one and a black one. The black one, you're gonna plug that bish into the first player port on your Turbo Graphics 16 Mini. Now this is kind of strange. This is a single time setup thing that you'd have to do this, and it's kind of wonky, but it, it works. And you just unplug it when you're done. But you do have to have this powered for the first time that you do this with a PS4 controller. I don't have any PS3 controllers, so I'm not testing that way using a PS4 controller. You do have to power this up, this gray one, plug it into something, you know, an external power source somehow, plug it into a brick, into the wall. I, I don't know. I don't care. I'm using one of these Onkers, uh, power packs. Love these things. Use them for a lot of stuff. So it comes in handy. You know what I'm saying? So now we got an octopus of, uh, of stuff lying around. We have this cable right, or this port right here, PS3, PS4. This is one time as well. We're going to take our controller. We're going to plug in a USB cable into this thing. You see it's already like blinking and whatnot, and the system's not on. We're going to plug in, like as if we're charging a PS4 controller. We're going to plug that into that adapter. This is just to sync it. After this is done, after this part's done, we can get rid of um, having this thing powered. We can get rid of this cable. All we have to have is this plugged into the front of the Turbo Graphics 16 Mini or the PC Engine Mini or the Core Graphics Mini. So, okay, 
Let's go ahead and power her on. Powering on, powering on the Turbo Graphics Mini. And you'll see right here, the, the little lights flashing. Now, um, to sync this, you have to hold the options and the, the uh, up button until it blinks. Like, see, it's blinking like three times, and then you're done. So there you go. Uh, you could play it wired if for some strange reason you want to, but you don't have to. You could just, okay, power went off. Turn it back on so it connects, and now we're good. It is controlling everything once again. So lights are solid. Like I said, you have this plugged in to your PS4 controller. And you go ahead and plug it in, plug it into your controller, hold options and up for three seconds until that green light blinks three times. Then it means you're synced wire, you know, wirelessly. So we can unplug that. We can unplug the power. All that stuff is unnecessary now. And now we're we're wired we're wireless we're dual shock foreign up on this thing so let me go ahead and jump into a game and show you what these buttons do real quick um, so you can use the D pad as you see you can use the analog this is the first time I sync this up I just read the directions and I'm like okay this works <laughs> um, so there you go but everything seems to be working but from what I read. Uh, the circle button is going to be the one button. X button is the two button. And then it's uh, the, the, sh the select and run button. So share, select, options is run. So let's go ahead and get into a game real quick like. Uh, and just test this out. This is the uh, arcade near arcade version of salamander i did do a video on unlocking that like i said take a look at all my videos and all the secrets on this thing but there we go the one thing i got to reach out to brooks and find out because i'm not seeing any way to do it but i don't know that there's any way to have turbo set like a lot of these games you could just hold the fire button down like we're holding you know the two button down to shoot and it's fine but sometimes you want that little extra turbo action I'm not, I'm not seeing a way to set turbo on this. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't, but I'm not figuring out a way to do it. But as you see, every, uh, I'm getting my ass handed to me, but everything here does work um, and works fine. It's a simple solution that just is a little wonky to set up at first. Um, so there is that. I'll put up, I'm not sure how much these cost. Like I said, Brooke did send this to me. To, to check out for purpose of review and whatnot. Not sure the price on this. I know some Brooks stuff is a little expensive, um, but you know, a lot of it's very multi-purpose and can come in handy. And for this one, yeah, you can use it on original hardware too and, and play with uh, some wireless DualShock 3 or 4 controllers. That could be a cool thing for some people. Uh, for me, I may mess around with this when I'm streaming and playing this, but the one option I am looking forward to is that 8-bit though, 8-bit doo-doo wireless controller that they're going to put out, the PCE30 or PC30, whatever it's going to be called. I know they have trademark and patent and, you know, whatever whatever filed up for that. So we'll have to wait and see when that comes out. Damn, this, this, this game is difficult. Uh, but I'm curious to see that. But in the meantime, who knows when that's going to come out. If you're interested in this, this is one way to play with a wireless controller. I'll put links in the description for all this stuff, links for my video. If you haven't taken a look at my review for the Turbo Graphics 16 Mini, I am giving one of these away, brand new in the box. Uh, that's coming up in a couple days. Link is in the description on my review video. So check that out. One person will win one of these. Get your hand on one. It's about a $100 console. And I've been having a blast. So there you go, little, oh, expert, hell no, I ain't playing on no expert, but yep, yeah, it works, works decently well, I'm just, you know, I wish it had turbo, I wish there was a simple way to get that turbo functionality on here, but yep, appreciate you guys watching, and with that said, I will catch y'all next time, peace out, big ass thumb butt, look at them cheeks, Bye bye and boom, oh shit, bye!